Okay, it looks like we are live. So, hello again everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of Streamy Streams with TJ, the streamiest stream you'll ever watch, stream, kind of. So, uh, I literally just woke up an hour ago, uh, cause I'm kind of on a, uh, a third shift sleep schedule. So that means like I, I wake up in the afternoon. Hey DJ, what's up, man? It's Audi. Um, I wake up in the afternoon, uh, and then, uh, I'm awake until like six or seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, so I literally just woke up, realized that I hadn't picked a game for streamy streams yet and so i'm like oh crap what can i play and one of the things i've been playing on my ps3 a lot recently has been um the first two games of the on the rain slick precipice of darkness series um which are amazing awesome games they're written by the dudes at penny arcade jerry and mike and they're tons of fun you actually um in the first two games you get to create your own character and you get to play alongside Gabe and Tycho, uh, who are the main characters of the Penny Arcade comic strip. Uh, uh, the uh, part three and four take a rather large change uh, in like the format of the game. Uh, and uh, three and four are the only ones that I actually have on my computer. I'd love to have the other two on my computer, I just don't want the money. Uh, but they're tons of fun. If you haven't played them, uh, they tend to be fairly cheap, uh, especially if you can get them on like a Steam sale. I think I got uh, both of these on a Steam sale, and I think they cost me like five bucks a piece or something. Like it was, it was really nice. Um, so yeah, they're tons of fun. They're you know, uh, they harken back to the classic old school RPG days. Um, the plot continues through the entire thing. Uh, the the first two are a little bit, you know, they're they're uh, they're three D and. And they're they're a little bit more advanced, uh, which is why you can get them on other uh, uh, you can get them on other systems too. Hi, Elias, how are you? Um, so yeah, just to kind of give you uh, an idea of the plot uh, that's happened thus far. In the first game, the uh, character that you play, uh, you make him yourself, uh, and his house gets destroyed by this giant uh, robot, which just happens to be uh, the fruit fucker. Which, if you don't know what that is, uh, check out Penny Arcade's comic. Uh, but it's just a giant robot. And so, uh, the whole plot of the uh, first game is that Gabe and Tycho have this agency uh, that I can't remember what it's called, but they investigate paranormal things. And, and uh, Tycho is a little bit on the crazy side, and Gabe likes to punch things. Uh, and so, you go through uh, the whole game and you end up killing, uh, stopping this mime god from entering the world yeah and it gets crazier from there uh the second uh the second episode happens shortly after the first uh you get the you get to use your character again and this time uh you have to stop that giant robot you didn't stop the giant robot in the first one so you have to do it in the second one and uh yeah hey look it's a ua a ua -uh. -uh -uh -uh. I have a really hard time pronouncing your name, dude. Uh, so yeah, so that's basically what happened. You killed a giant robot. Uh, I, uh, the character from the first two games that you played doesn't show up in three or four. I think they mentioned it in here somewhere. Uh, but without any further ado, let's go ahead and play uh, so you guys can see this. Uh, one of the things, one of the, the charms about this game is the dialogue is hilarious. It's, it's written by uh, Jerry Holkins. Uh, and it's it's really really good. So I'll try not to skip over too much of it because it's it's really good. Uh, so yeah, let's go to we'll go here. All right, I'm gonna start a brand new game for you guys. Do that, and because I'm lazy, I'm just gonna do normal mode. And as you can see, this is you know regular, and you can turn them into girls. If you want to play as girls, you can turn them into furries. If you want to play as furries. Or you can turn them into undeads, which I'm just gonna go with regular because I really, I really love Penny Arcade. So let's do that. Boom. When two gods wait on the windowsill, the wick of the world is burning still. But when one god in triumph shouts, the candle of the world goes out. Oh, and 
Taiko of Brahe, that's that's Taiko. That's uh, Jerry Hogan's character. It is never especially clean. Oh, the Startling Developments Detective Agency is what they call it. Souvenirs of past cases lying the back wall. Their stories waiting to be told. Hungry. Hungry. How now, Gabriel? You must stare at this phone. Man, do you remember when we used to do things that were awesome? Punching things, killing gods. Man, shit used to be wild. That was last week. Really? Yes. Startlingly, Lee, Lee, the phone of the starting development agency begins to ring. Ah! Tycho grabs the phone and begins to talk while Gabe jumps up and down. Yes. Uh-huh. You don't say. Time passes this way. Grave nods interspersed with knowing grins. Tycho hangs up the phone. Who was it? A new case? Ten full minutes of silence. Then why did you hang up? Didn't want to be rude. Moreover, this was no ordinary silence. That silence was dripping, dripping with meaning, and boiling with rich undercurrents of hidden context. And a hint, I think, of Corian. Anyway, there's some meaning and context of this. Of this, we may be certain. We should bring a recording of it to my genius niece, and Claire, for analysis. You got a phone conversation of silence! You sure about this? Could be just a prank call. Absolutely certain. With every taunt fiber of my being. Maybe. So, this is it, and you can see. When you kill supernatural beings professionally, you start to end up with a lot of magical crap. This crap seems to congregate on this table. The phone isn't magical though, it's just a regular old phone. Wouldn't be ashamed, it would be ashamed if it could. And this is, that's the Mime God. So this is the, the backstory, Yog Sethis, God of Silence, that's who you killed the first time. Spurred by the Necrowombicon, blah 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 blah, Pelican Bay Boardwalk, blah blah blah. Stuff I already told you, and then there's the uh... So anyone that actually plays this game that hasn't uh, done it, oh really? Sorry, my my other computer doesn't like me. Hi Blair. Yes, I did get your email. Auha! Uh, I'll be uh, I'll be shooting uh, the people on the stream uh, uh, an email out to finalize the schedule and everything like that. Uh, so yes, um, anyone that doesn't know, this Friday we are doing a live stream for 24 hours. A dirt face on my first screen. Oh, cool, Blair. That's what you get for using a Mac. Um, we're going to be streaming for 24 hours for the charity that my brother and I have been trying to raise money for. We're at $130. We're trying to make it to 500. So please tune in anytime. Uh, on April the 25th, it will be a full 24-hour stream. Uh, there'll be a couple different channels it'll be on. Uh, is gonna be taking a shift. Um, let's see, the Alex G is gonna be taking a shift. I'm gonna be taking a shift. Uh, and if any of you guys are interested in taking part of a shift, let me know and I will fit you into the schedule. It doesn't have to be, you know, eight hours or something like that. It could be an hour here or there, uh, but it's gonna be cool. So anyway, let's, let's get back to this. So, we're Dr. Blood. And then more stuff. Like, everything in here you can talk to. This is, um... Prior to the incident, Jim had tons of fish. Loads and loads of it. It covered his bones completely. Those were good times. You know, with all the skin. See, everything in this is just beautifully written. Sure, uh, talk to Alex. Uh, if you want to jump on, uh, I don't even know what games I'm going to be playing, DJ. Um... Yet, uh, but if you want to jump on when, uh, one of the games that I'm playing, I, I, I might do some, um... Might do some Diablo 3. I, I might try doing some League of Legends, even though I haven't played in forever. Um, I have uh, I have the entire Telltale Games Homestar Runner games that I'm thinking about playing because that would be a lot of fun. Uh, and those are another ones that are really really funny. Well, in the New York City map, this is blah 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 blah. I don't know where I'm going now. I wonder what to do without Ed Claire. 
Suffer, I suspect, inconsolably. No, for serious! We'd be screwed on the real. Whatever happens when we run into sh some shit, which, you know, kinda happens, it's always and clear this, and clear that. She basically runs your agency. We should call it the startling dev and opments, Detective Claire Agency. This is really hard. Come now, Gabriel. There have been many, many instances where my keen intellect has revealed the way forward. Oh yeah? Name one. Well, like, the alkaline quandary. The who? The magical puzzly box type thing. Doesn't count. Why not? I solved it. I just punched it until it broke open. Yes, you punched it. Under my close supervision. I love this stuff, it's so good. Stress reliever day, yep. In a hurry, no worries, hold the left shift key to run, or place the caps lock key to toggle between run mode and walk mode. Fun. I'm just gonna... Run mode is now activated. Whee! Fun, fun, fun. Hiya! Gabe punched the wooden gate open. Ow, ow! Spinters. So good. There we go here. Good uncle. Ultra Nice, how goes the battle? Restless. After one has slain a god, one does develop a taste for it. I nosed, I nosed the sentiment. T -t I don't know, it's hard to think. Talk like normal people! Gabe is awesome. I feel my associate doth tired of her elocutions. It is an adorable rage. Rawr! Yes, like that. Just give her your dumb tape. Ah, yes. To the untrained ear, it sounds like nothing. It has no sound, but to the true Eldrith enthusiast, it wallows in complexitas. Are those like complexities, or they're similar? And Claire accepts the recording, winding the raw tape into the mouth of an entirely custom who's who it? Moving what looks like a phone receiver made from an old bell, she plays it in her ear for several long moments, then... Ah! You are right to be suspicious, Uncle. This phone call was made from Pelican Bay. Indeed, but how? And Claire cranks a knob hard, right? Kakrunk! Pelican Harbor. Of course, the vile boardwalk of nightmare that was swarming with the silent ones. Min, min, wow. Something about mimes. Fully two games ago, a mime must have called us. But why? What if it was just like a bird calling? His eyes grow wide, like an evil bird. My most were in text. Yeah, that's something to do with, um, uh, it's, it's Twitch plays Pokemon's fault. Ever since they started doing that, um, <laughs> I just read Elias's comment about my derp face. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's Elias, you got some 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 feels about Mac. Uh yeah, ever since Twitch played Pokemon started, uh sometimes your your uh stuff won't actually come through. Um it's stupid and I can't figure out why, but it happens to me all the time. So just keep posting. Uh since I have this stream up here, you can see if it actually goes up or not, so that's always useful. That is way ridiculous, unlike all the things I say which are smart. To Pelican Bay! I shall accompany you, Uncle. But your studies, your physical and physi uh, psychological well-being, your parents made your safety my responsibility. No, they didn't. They specifically said, stay away from our daughter, you good for nothing, Brahi. I was paraphrasing. In any case, they are not here, and I make my own decisions. And Claire has forced herself into your group. See? With clarity, child. And Claire has entrusted you with a duplicator. With this thoroughly implausible device, items you use in one battle will regenerate by the next fight. Right now, blah, 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 blah. Pelican Bay! I can go to the Pelican Bay. Herp derp. Boop, boop. 
Every time I see Herpy Derp, I, I, I immediately think of the Swedish Chef. Hurdy flutendy birdy bird. Time to go to Pelican Bay. Main menu. Da, 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 da. Save the time. I want to do this. Save the time. Save. I'm going to just overwrite my old game because I'm not going to play it again. There we go. Boardwalk has seen better days, it's ramshackle for real. It looks in danger of being reclaimed by the sea. Man, I thought this place was a shithole before. Gabriel remembers Anne Claire, looks around nervously. I mean, poop hole. Gabe approaches the entrance to the park. Desperate for a change in topic, he spies a sequence of strange markings and seizes the opportunity. Oh, what's this strange medical writing? Wow, it's so crazy. Hmm. It may be the Sighted One's ancient language I will attempt to translate. To enter the park, you must insert 20 blue tokens, 30 green tokens, 40 red tokens, and 2,000 rainbow tokens. One to random token may be acquired each successfully won carnival game. What? No way, sign. I'm going home. And Claire stifles a laugh. Pay no, pay no heed to my niece, Gabriel. She's having a bit of fun at your expense. Script actually says kill every non-believer. Whew, okay. I was worried there. Many but not of your rules, well, magic points, blah blah blah, more stuff that you don't need to know, so it's just so you can play the game. For anyone wondering, that is a fruit fucker. Yeah, let's first blood this fucker. So this is turn-based, in case you guys hadn't guessed. Dude, he's gone. And that's super effective, apparently. Monies! And a chest. Potion Gwanli up. So, yeah. That's how you use items in this. Prick shots? Ha! It's funny. I get to kill mimes! Kill the mime! Uh, burn it as well, apparently. Might as well try that. Apparently it's not that fond of fire. Die, mimes! <laughs> Here's a pelican. Let's kill the pelican. Pelicans are bad. We should kill pelicans. Right? First blood. Kill things. Ow. Another super effective. Apparently people don't like the first blood. It is damaging. So, the interesting thing about... Uh, Getting uh, all your hit point back after everything. Oh look, Bruise now level four and learns eager and RTFM. I'm sure that means something. I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's a clown. Clowns are evil. I'm gonna kill the fruit fucker. Light non elemental magic. Bye! Well, that's kinda, that's kinda useful. You're gonna kill that. You're gonna kill him. Let's see if he likes light magic. 
Bye bye, clown. Be got Wow, clown's got. Oh, clown's got six hit points left. And it threw its nose. It's kind of weird. We and now I get this. What is this? Fifty bucks. Fifty bucks is nice. Wow, lots of these guys. Wow, and they attacked before I did. That's interesting. No, oh, that doesn't happen. Bye. Be gone, evil fruit thingies. So those of you wondering where in the world this this fruit thingy came from, the fruit friend, which is the uh, nicer term for it, uh, it's a juicer that Penny Arcade came up with, and it's pretty awesome. Okay, so that's done. Wander around. That's a pirate mime. I've got to go play with the pirate mime. Tycho, why is an octopus covered with mime makeup running towards us? Indeed, Gabriel, it's a question for our age. What would convince an octopus to abandon the shackles of normalcy and don the attire of the accursed brotherhood? Surely in this, this is a case of a shattered young invertebrate empty within, more mal husk than mollusk. This is an octopus who failed to receive the requisite love and attention in the home. His parents have 16 arms between them, yet moist hugs were still in short supply. No, why is he running? Oh, I don't know, exercise? Kind of a big thing. That's first blood. Let's kill the Pelic Corsair. Finish that attack. Wow, that was that was effective. And those are gone. Let's burn the octopus. And yeah, just attack it with whatever she attacks with. Let's see if it likes light. Ooh, fire doesn't like. Chairs doesn't really have an opinion. Tentacle! Let's just attack. Gotta be getting close to dead. Fish. Yeah, it's got 100 hit points. Be gone, evil Mimapus! That was bad. Bad jokes. Bad jokes. Pirate mime. Free muter. Ah. First blood. Killing stuff. One mime down. One mime not down. Try it again. So you have nothing useful right now, because I'm not getting hurt enough to, to have that matter. My heals are useful when you're actually getting hurt. Well, now I'm actually getting hurt. Alright, you're just going to attack. You are going to not do anything. Oh, cool, there's a chest there. I want a chest! Mimes! Be gone, Mimes! <laughs> mimes going bye bye. Surprisingly enough, like it's it's a fairly brute punch. Oh, cool! There's a Ice shards, it's cool. There's a fair amount of... Ooh, treasure chest lying unprotected in alleyway. Nothing weird or dangerous about that. It's obviously a trap. Chest! See, Gabe and I totally like. Wow, dude. It's actually a trap. Alright, let's first... <laughs> Axe fish. Self-explanatory. Evil anchor.
Ooh, it resisted that. Wow. At least I killed the darn thing. Kill that. Don't need any heals yet. Kill... Ice shards. Let's use ice shards. Die, fish! Bad fish, you go squish! Now I get something. You find even softer gloves. Weapon for Gabe. Description. Incredible comfort for you and the foe. So now I need... Equip. I got soft gloves to... Even softer gloves! Yay! Now he's got some soft gloves. And now... Certain battles have unique battle conditions that have a large effect. Blah, 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 blah. Everyone begins with seven magic points. That's kind of cool. Crabbish! Uh, I always start with first blood because it does more damage. Ice shard. And thermonucleclair. Wow, that worked well. Cool! College life prep is interesting to say the least. There, that mine must be our mysterious caller. That was hours ago. What's he still doing in a phone booth? Gabe opens the phone booth and the mine falls to the ground. There is no thud. Oh. Silent in death as he was in life. There may still be a clue to be found here. Help me paw at this helpless body. Look away, precious niece, O oh niece of the year. Let your Uncle Tycho manage the corpse looting portion. Pray we uncover a clue with ease, so we need not conduct a more comprehensive search. I know what part you're talking about, and I call not it! Gabe and Tycho manhandled dearly deceased for a while. And I mean, a while. As in, too long. Aha! Tycho fans had I love this! First picture, mine's having a party and looking all friendly. Second picture, a rift between worlds opens up and briefly in the sky and starts zapping the mimes and animals. Third picture, zap keepers, mort, la 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 la, murderous killers. Small pins drop from the portal as it closes. Fall below, I mean, how very strange. This has all the markings of a zero threshold transmorphic crisis. Gabriel has seen this particular gleam before and he knows what's coming next. With the terror of a frightened hare, he clasps his hands over his ears, quickly closing his eyes, and begs for death. Items from the past have been folded into vibrating now, like two decks of cards shuffled together, and the resulting displacement of matter creates a powerful beam of energy that transforms the surrounding beings into the monstrosities we've been fighting. Now, there are many possible explanations to why the temporal displacement may have occurred. Chronomancy gone awry, perhaps. Not real. A spear of deja vu so extreme it pierces the skull, a watchmaker who stumbles on the odd bit of dark magic, replacing a stubborn second hand, a carton of milk left too near the table edge, not connected to the other stuff really, but I hate it when people do that. La 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 la! Meganese, we must proceed to the very spot indicated in these photographs. The fate of the world may, yea, the very goulash of existence may hang in the balance. You make declarations of this sort frequently, uncle. In my defense, says the scion of Brahe, loading his shotgun. It's almost always true. Let's go kill some more stuff. <clears throat> uh, so, going back to college prep, it's fun. I'm uh, learning stuff, and yeah, it, it looks like I'm going to be um, going pretty hardcore into studies to try and finish a little bit early. So. Let's kill Larry and Harry. I actually used to sing barbershop uh, in a barbershop uh, quartet. I sang the bass part. And it was fun. I'll kill you, kill you. Ice shards! Oh, I didn't even need that. Ooh, Genius is now level 8. No. Derry and Jerry. B. 
Be gone, evil thingy with things. Alright, do, do, and derp. Another chest! Randomly sitting there. Quartet enemies are 30% more powerful. Oh, damn. That's not very nice. Alright, now we get to... This might actually be difficult. First blood it. Derpy. Derpy derp. I might actually have to heal this time. Alright, you're gonna derpy it. And you're gonna do that. Bye bye! Wow, he's really low on health. Probably wanna fix that. I'm gonna brute punch that dude. And I sealed everything. Ooh, he's gone. You can just scholar it up. Now they're all healed! Level up! Over here. Cheap magic ring. <laughs> Increases magic ability by a ridiculously small, almost insulting amount. Let's equip that to. Let's give it to him. I'm actually not sure to what you are referring, Auha. <clears throat> Remember the time we killed a mind god? Speaking of Yogg, Seth has decided one. Yes, I do remember that. It kind of sticks out. Although we didn't so much kill it as we did sever its connection to this mortal realm. That mime heading over here isn't as big as the mime god, was it? Is it? Tycho sizes him up. Uh, he's large, but not god large. Hero becomes sad. Alright. Let's kill... Yeah, let's kill the smaller ones first. Wow, that worked really well. Dragon Punch! And they're gone. We attack you. We attack you. And Ice Shards! I don't know why she hits with like a chair. Wow, that was super effective. And he's gone. Yay! Next scene! Anything Watch out! More boring stuff. Oh look! It's a dude on a walrus! <laughs> Which is the name of the bad guy. Let's do that. Not as effective as I hoped. It's kind of hoping to kill the thing. That's gone. I'm going to heal. Ice shards that do the walrus. And apparently, not a big fan of ice. Hopefully, he's a big fan of dying. How does one get into the All for Geek Alliance? Um. As far as, like, joining uh, the quote-unquote team, um, really, uh, anyone that creates content for the channel uh, becomes a, a deciding member, basically. Um, so if you have a, uh, if you've got a, a show that you've been thinking about doing or anything like that, um, uh, shoot me an email or something, uh, and uh, I can help you figure out the logistics and when we'll fit it into the schedule and everything like that. Uh, the only thing uh, 
that we want to do is make sure that it's uh, consistent content. Um, so if you want to do a show, uh, it needs to come out regularly. So if that means every week, every other week, mo uh, I think almost all the shows on there are every other week, except for the plot hook in, which is uh, once a month. <clears throat> but regular content uh, is good for uh, audience. They know that, you know, on this day, they can tune in and see their content. Um, so we like to do that. So other than that, uh, that's, that's all it really takes. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah. And we're constantly trying to better ourselves. If you go to the About page on uh, the YouTube page, it actually lists um, our kind of manifesto. Jens actually helped me write it all up. So, uh, yeah. Um, that'll give you a better idea about, you know, what the channel itself is about and, and, and all that jazz. Tygo? Tygo! Yes? How long have you had that recorder thingy on our phone? Years. I pass each conversation fully, straining each one for vital clues. Every conversation? Yes, Gabriel. All of them. Even that one where I... All conversations. The hamster was an important part of a workout regime. To be sure. And sometimes you need that much mayo. Uh-huh. Like, if your sandwich is really big. Okay. Gabriel is silent for a moment, and then... I like sandwiches. Apparently. I love the dialogue in this. I think this is the boss. A mine pirate ship. How's it any different from a regular pirate ship? There's a stripy mainsail. Plus, that tiny cap on the bow. Bow, whatever it is. When we saw them last, they have been able to manifest a vessel like this, fashioned purely of invisible force. How art the mighty fallen. Their 15 minutes is almost up, cosmologically speaking, stay alert. It's bound to make them desperate. A crabomancer, or in the original French, le crabomancer. Even with my incredibly superstitious nature and deep interest in the occult, I'd assume they were just a myth. Looks like it wants to mythically kick us in the... Gabriel again remembers that Anne Claire is a real person who has continued to be physically present. I mean, kick our wing-wongs, milady. Gable curtsies, Tycho purses his lips, and continues. Cryomancers of old were said to have nearly impenetrable shells, owing to the diet of a mortal everfish. Being of utterly sound mind, devoted entirely to rational practice, there is no room for magical crustaceans in my taxonomy. That said, Uncle, if you wanted to rock some sorcery, this might be an optimal scenario. Let's kill stuff. Crabomancer! Alright, first blood first. You're gonna attack. You're going to... Yeah, you're gonna attack too. It's super effective! That's not going to work. We're gonna fireball because its physical defense is high. You're gonna... Oh wait, I'm gonna try this. So I think that gives me... Does it give me more stuff? No, it doesn't. It just makes you not hurt. Uh, RTFM, no, we're gonna ice shards! Mini. Wow, that worked very well. Attack! Fireball! Burn! Hmm, not as useful. Oh, snap! I think it's time for you to. Thermonuclear! Not as useful as I thought it would be. You're going to heal yourself, Tycho. Physician, heal thyself! Fireball! Anne is not nearly as useful as I think she could be. But once we start getting pins, they're better. Almost done. All right, Tycho. I shot it away! Bye-bye, Cripplemancer! More level levels. Here they are, the ancient doodads. And Claire shoots him a look. It's Latin. 
The mimes hold them from the point of temporarily, tempor whatever that word is, into this ship for safekeeping. I wonder if they had any idea what they were holding in here. These are class pins. Oh look, a plot device. Oh, I always wanted one of those, but no, the other kid says it wasn't cool enough. But it is they who are not the cool ones. Not that kind of class pin, Gabriel. Class is in a type of person. They were crafted by the Dowager Praxis. A kind of seamstress. can alter you, perhaps alter your very form, granting you wholly new powers. The best part, these pins almost never override your own consciousness. Almost never? How never are we talking here? It's rare. You now have the ability to add a second class to your characters! Yay! The Tube Samurai Pin, with the power to adjust to any situation with a variety of useful stances and attacks. The Crabomancer Pin, with the power to withstand any attack. The Hobo Pin, with the power of street brawling and inflicting hoboism. New hit point every turn. The Gentleman Pin, with the power to fight evil through timely heals and game spikes. The Cordwainer Pin, with the power of shoes. The Slacker Pin, with the power to, um, hang out and stuff. The Elementor Pin, with the power of the elements. Route to Artillery of the Dowager Praxis Unlocked. Wow, that was interesting. All right, first things first, I am going to get some classes. Let's see. I'm going to Tube Samurai, Crab Lancer, Hobo. Let's give him Tube Samurai, because that's got him. Scholar, I want you to be Element Store. And you're a genius, so... Let's give you shoes. Shoes are good. All right. Let's actually view what these things do. Attack stance. Fire slash. Soul edge. Hmm. Cool. Alright, let's go here. Cool, cool, cool. We're going here. We oh, never time. Oh, we still got time. Welcome to the all, all <laughs> speakers of truth. Each statue in this holy place tells a story. If you would understand the sacred rites of the seamstress, the power she's willing to bestow on the humble processors of her dying pins, enter. Wait, you have to be humble to use these class things? Might be a problem for some people that I know. I'm thinking of a specific person. What? I'm the humblest. I've mastered the elder art of braggadoc humility. A form of humility so subtle and advanced that it Bragging about my humility actually increases it. This meant that you have to own a glass pin in order to use it. Sorry, I was just trying to maintain the proper sort of ruined temple atmosphere. Oh, yes, well, thank you. It was great. They were allowed with tremendous energy. Totally. It cranked up the ambience for reals. You're done here. Head back to the starting development detective agency. It'll be fun. So these are the different ones. Like, here's Tube Samurai. And this is all backstory on the two samurai. It probably is. There's a lot of references to a million different things in here. Oh, Uncle, in your letter you said there was something you wished to discuss. A shadow passes over Tycho's face. Indeed, child. And tonight we shall. For now there is much to do at the office. There is? Yes, that is dust on things, mind you, and I won't stand for it. But, but there's always tonight, then. Tonight. Anne Claire skips off, and now Anne Claire's not in the party. It's a sad day. When returning, blah blah, Scott and Brute now begin a long, arduous study of the events that have recently transpired. It may be more appropriate to suggest that Tycho began a long and arduous study of the events that had recently transpired. Gabriel was thinking about getting a dog. Or maybe a cat. Briefly, the logistics of giraffe ownership are considered. Several days passed in this way, and then one day, while Gabe and Tiger were trying to find a, out a new water slide part, something happened. I've heard you, beast. 
Show yourself. Here I am. Take me up. Seize me and we will claim your hesit. I will assemble your cursed collections, Diabolus. But you will hide that name in your spine, secret beneath the binding, and speak it never. Dr. Blood picks up the Necroabagon. Estia. Estia. Gabe and Tiger return. When it comes to wetness, I mean, like, being wet, water is king. Too true, Gabe. Wait, where is the Necrowabicon? Jim, you had one job. Bad Jim. You leave you in charge for just a few minutes and half the office is gone. Actually, I think it's just the Necrowabicon. I know, I said that after the incident with your skin and your body or whatever, we'd always have a position for you. A position on the shelf at the very least. I don't know how else to say this. The experiment is over. You are uniquely unqualified to act as head of security. Jim hiccups. It's not clear what emotion this represents. Plus, your jar is dumb. Gabriel. Whatever, his jar sucks. It's dumb, and I hate it. If Jim has a position on Gabriel's position vis-a-vis -vis his jar, he keeps it to himself. So it's back to field work for you. Somehow, just do your best. Jim and his jar have joined your party. Startlingly, the phone in the Startling Development Agency begins to ring. Twice in one month, Tego grabs the phone and begins to talk while Gabe makes funny faces at the immobile jar. Yes, uh-huh, you don't say. Tego hangs up the phone. We have been summoned by a Dr. Euripides Hawk, curator at the Museum of Contemporary and Ancient Works. I hate every part of what you just said. He refuses to discuss the particulars over the phone, suggesting he had a matter of grave importance to discuss with us. The timing is odd, to say the least. To the museum! Now I get to go to the museum. And look, I get weapons and items and equipments. Let's go check out the weapons and items and equipments. Alright, we're gonna buy how much money I have? I don't have a lot. Uh, let's buy a gun. There we go. Let's sell the stuff I don't need. It's done. I Oh, by the way, for those of you who don't know, all these guys here are uh, members of the Penny Arcade staff. I have actually attempted to get into voice acting. Um, it's actually an incredibly difficult uh, field to get into, uh, just like anything in the entertainment industry. Um, but I do voice acting for my brother's uh, web series called DigiDub, so that's fun. So I can make potions get better, or I can use them more, which doesn't really help. Oh, that's Erica, uh, what well, used to be Sad Sad. What's Erica's name now? She just got divorced. Hmm. I'm not gonna buy anything there. Oh, and I think the guy at the weapon shop, is that cool? Maybe that's Valar. I don't know. I'd have to look again to figure out which one that is. But now we go to the museum. And look, things to kill in a museum. Who would have thought? Where'd you get that costume, cool person? I want your costume! It's no costume, Gabriel. What we see before us is an actual hominid. It's the warping weave of the Necrowombicon. It's... It's wrestled with these wax men from their in, inanimate slumber. Take care. Those spears are real enough. Let's kill some hominids. I'm gonna put on attack stance. And... Burn it. And 
Oh, I forgot to give him a uh, thing. I'll have to get him into a class. Ooh, they don't like fire. Not really phased by a jar. I'm gonna keep trying this fire slash. It's really well. Oh, that worked really well. Jim, you are officially useful. Tube Zara goes up to level 5. Damn. Crabomancer is level 4. Hobo is level 4. Gentleman's 4. Cordwainer's 4. Slacker's 4. to be a hobo. Because I like hobos. Another bad guy! Alright, we're going to start with first blood first. Fire! And I'm going to call up the hobo. Cut. More stuff leveling up. Dude, a pterodactyl. Alright, we're going to first blood him. We're going to fire slash him, and you're going to attack him. It's dead! Stance it. Straight up attack. And you're gonna hobo. Who <laughs> if it likes fire? Wow, it's dead. Bye bye. Hustle. What cool stuff do I get? Molotovs! I now have Molotovs. That's kind of cool. Alright, more bad things. Alright. First blood. First slash. Wow, that worked very well. And... Interesting. Just attack something. Bye-bye! Everything dies. And look at this! Moira! You! An interesting fact, Gabriel. Her hair is the precise shade of hellfire, and I am in a position to know. You know her? Yes, in every sense. Gabe doesn't really get it. Indeed, Mr. Brahe. Where are your manners? Aren't you going to introduce me to your associates? Gabriel, this is Moira Zosen. She was, that is to say, we were, when we were quite young, i.e. We were married, I know, try and imagine it. What? You never told me you were married? There's lots to discuss in a given day, Gabriel. 
and try to confine our discourse to the crucial topics. How's that clear? Good, I hope. Despite your best efforts... That one gets through, his face hardens. What brings you here, Mora? Still workshopping your gumshoe act? Yes, I know. Regular old human mysteries. Not enough divination for your eclectic tastes. Do you deny the existence of savage, otherworldly forces? Not at all. I've seen things. You know that... I mean, you showed me. The difference is that I don't go poking them with a stick. It's a vital distinction. Oh, burn! She burned you, just saying. I'll satisfy your curiosity, Mr. Brahe. My client is an unbeatable combination of wealthy and strange. Strange enough to want things that are hard to find and wealthy enough to pay for the search indefinitely. He's after a set of paintings, a surreal study of the body, one of which was hanging here until it was stolen tonight. That's so crazy. Someone just stole the Necrowom... Wombicon? Really? She shoots Taiko a glance. Hush your mouth, Gabriel. So you are involved in this whole mess. I should have known. Totally have to pick a different voice for you. I don't see any reason to reinvent the wheel here, boys. We're all here and ultimately we want the same thing. I'm in. Moira has joined the party. No, you're not. Moira leaves the party. I'll tell you to go to hell, but you're into that. It'll be fun, come on. I'll even cut you in. Let's solve crimes and get offensively rich. <laughs> totally doesn't fit with her character at all. I'm gonna come up with a better thing for her. All right, let's get her a class. Uh, I can give her Crabomancer. Gentleman, Fahidi stuff. Hmm. Let's give her Slacker. Let's see what let's see what that does. What does Slacker have right now? Tool around. <laughs> No idea what, what that does, but we'll, we'll, we'll try it. Interrupt, more stuff about how to play the game. Let's go over here. Hammer time. Adds interrupt to the attack command. Oh, that's kind of cool. Alright, you are going to... Let's just attack and play. No idea what that does, but I want to try it. Nothing. I have no idea what that did. I'm sure it was useful in some way. Uh, killing him. He's Out. I think it just means he gets hit all the time. Alright. Well, it has been an hour. So, I think we will call it a uh, we'll call it late for late. So, that is going to be all. For Streamy Streams with a TJ. And I'm gonna hit the right button here. Is there an actor even worse? How is it showing up on here and not on here? That's weird. Interesting. Thank you, Elias. I appreciate that. 
All right. So uh, again, that's all for me today. Um, remember, on Friday, having the charity live stream, we're trying to raise five hundred dollars. We're at about one hundred and thirty. Um, literally, if we can just get people to donate like five bucks, um, we will hit our goal in no time. So check it out. Um, I will be posting things on Twitter. I will be posting things on Facebook. I will be posting things. Uh, I'll be talking about it uh, in uh, random vlogging until we do that. Because of the live stream, I will not be doing a Friday Feature Focus this week because uh, it's just uh, running the live stream and, uh, and and doing that is just it's not going to work. Uh, also, uh, cool announcements. Uh, Saturday is the first episode of the Plot Again, which is going to be really, really awesome. We've got a great uh, cast that's going to be on there talk about some uh, game mastering and dungeon mastering. And then it's just become official, so I can tell you guys about it. I told my Patreon uh, patrons yesterday, and you guys get to find out today. I am going to be on Webisode Watch, hosted by Blair Beverage. It's going to be really, really awesome. Uh, there's going to be uh, a bunch of us, actually. Elias is going to be there. Um, the Jerd's going to be there. Obviously, Blair's going to be there. And I'm going to be there. It's going to be really, really cool. I'm going to talk about uh, some new stuff about DD High, and we're going to have lots of fun. So definitely tune in for that as well. So I think that's everything. Oh, yeah. By the way, anyone that's watching that really, really likes me, I have a Patreon page. Um, it is patreon.com slash trainer Jody, uh, and it is a way for my adoring fans to be able to support me financially in creating content. Uh, you can basically set it up to do everything from, um, I have it set up on a monthly thing. A lot of people do it by per content because I put so much out. It's just not viable for me to do it per content. So you set up to pledge a monthly amount. You can change the amount you pledge anytime. You can cancel at any time. Uh, and there's cool rewards for pledging certain amounts. And I also have goals on there. If I hit certain goals, I will be able to do things like um, do a live Q&A session where people actually ask me real questions, not questions I stole from other people. Um, or um, I'll also be able to do d, &D High Live or uh, get to a, a, a fairly high amount. Um, I will go to a convention and I will do d, &D Live, uh, d, &D High live in person where you can come to the convention and actually watch us play and interact with the class with the cast and everything like that so it's really really awesome check out my patreon page uh even if you don't become one of my patrons uh you know share it with your friends and stuff like that uh because yeah that's uh one of the ways that i'm hoping to pay for some of the incidentals um for uh college um one of the other things uh that i'll talk about a little bit more tomorrow um yeah you know i'm just gonna talk about it tomorrow because it's a little bit this is going a little longer than i wanted to so again that is all for me today. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow for some random vlogging. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Bye-bye.